What's going on everybody? It's Game Unbox from Reviews here and welcome back to another Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create Superman from DC Comics using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so obviously the first thing you're going to do is come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to go all the way over here and choose, you know, any character slot you want. You can overwrite a pre-existing one or you can just start from scratch. We're going to go with this one right here because we haven't done anything here yet. So, to make Superman, obviously you don't want any weapons. You don't need any weapons at all. Now, for the head, well, we'll go for the hair in a second, but I want to focus on the head. So, for the head, I think I went with... Uh, the Hydra version of Thor. I think that was a pretty good one. Let me see. I'll go up to the top of here and we'll see if we can find him. Because you never know. This is the great thing about when I make these videos. I make the character first. See if they look good. And then I do a video on them. But the great thing about doing these videos is I can look and see if I can improve that character. And make them look even more like the one I'm trying to make. So we've got Electro here. No, that looks, looks too mean. Where's the... I think he's called Hammer. No, that's too simple. I think the guy's name is Hammer. There, that's it. I think that looks pretty good. I, know, I think I used that with uh, Quicksilver, but that does actually look quite good. I'll scroll down, see if I can find someone better, though, but I don't think there is. I think that'll do. At least from the ones I have unlocked. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Actually, this is the one I chose. It was Rawhide Kid. Yes, that's the one. Rawhide Kid is the one I settled on. So we'll go with this hair, obviously, because that looks a lot like Superman. There you go. Very nice. Then, of course, we don't want anything on the neck. We don't want any attachments, so let's get rid of that. And we're going to go on to... We don't want any helmets. Go on to the body. So for the body, uh, the one I settled on is actually Darkhawks. Now, there is a few blue pieces in this character creator, obviously. Uh, you know, there's this one here, but it's just, it's too much like Wonder Man, you know. So I actually settled on Dark Hawks, which is somewhere up here. There it is. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. I know he's got the red symbol and everything in the chest, but still, I think that looks pretty good. And I guess that kind of is like uh, the replacement for the Superman symbol in a way. So it, it kind of works out quite nicely. So for the arms, unfortunately, when you go in here, there isn't actually dark blue arms. I don't know why, but there you go. So what you're going to do instead of that is you're going to come down here and there should be... It's not that one. It's this one. Yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. They look quite nice. Of course, you can go for another one if you want to, but I think this one looks good. I thought about that one, but I just thought the Venom 2099, you know, things on the arms just look kind of weird. And I just think that looks a lot more like Superman. Now for the hands. So for the hands, we're going to go with these ones. And for the legs, the legs will just go with the same. Actually, no. No, we won't go with the same. I think there are boots with red legs, like dark blue legs with... Uh, Dark blue legs with red boots. I'm pretty sure there are some around here. Let's see. There's these ones. Not too bad. There's them. Pretty good. I think we will go with... I think we'll go with them. Yeah. I think we'll go with them for now. And then for the hips, I just give them red. I think it looks cooler, red. I mean, I know you could probably go and give them something like this, but I just thought it looked looked much cooler when it was red. Yeah, that looks much better in my opinion. Then for the capes, you just want to go to straight, just a straight cape. And then your same color, red. I originally had this color, but then I realized it's actually not the same as the others. So you want to make sure all the colors match. And there you go. That is pretty much Superman made in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. I think he looks pretty cool. I'll just have a look and see if those other legs actually look better. Because there are two sets, isn't there? Eh, uh, I mean, it does look quite stylish, actually, that way. Instead of it just being bland. Yeah, you know what? No, this is quite a detailed build, so I'm going to go with them. I think that looks better. Yeah, yeah, we'll stick with them. Much better, okay. 
So we've done the design. The design is completely finished. He looks awesome. Now we're going to give him tons of abilities because Superman is extremely powerful. So we don't want to grapple. Uh, we don't really need wall climbing when he can fly. So obviously we're going to make him fly. Techno access. I don't think we'll give him that. We won't give him these two. We'll give him crack Lego walls. Obviously he can deflect stuff. He's the man of steel. So of course he can cut a vine. Uh, won't give him fixing things. Won't give him super strength. Time manipulation... I mean, in the old movies, he did, like, fly around the Earth or something, didn't he? So, eh. No, I, see, I, people were saying that I should have done that for Quicksilver, but I just thought it felt too much like Doctor Strange, so I didn't want to bother doing that. But you guys can totally go for that if you want to. Uh, dig, yes. No teleport. Tracking. Oh, wait, actually... Should Superman be digging things up and tracking stuff? I mean, he does investigate things, but not as much as Batman. I think it's better because most people, if they do make these creations, they'll play with Batman and Superman. So Batman can do the digging and tracking, and Superman can do all the heavy work, like smashing stuff. So, yeah, we'll leave them off, actually. We'll definitely leave them off. So for Tap Square, uh, Tap Square, we're going to have fighting. And then Hold Square, we're going to have a beam. And the beam damage type is going to be a heat beam. And the beam style, I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's this one. But what I need to do is I need to change the color. Now, I could go with this. But I personally like this more. I think it looks cooler. I like the, uh, the DC Extended Universe kind of heat vision. Where it's like it looks a little bit more fiery than just red. So I'm going to go with that one. And then we'll go with the eyes. And there you go. See, I think that looks much better. But I'll just show you guys the red, just in case you're wondering. Yeah, I just prefer the orange. I think that looks cooler. It's like more like fire, you know. Um, but the beam style, just to make sure we got the right one. So that is like electrifying. There's that one. That one. Oh, wait. We Did we have the wrong one? It's this one we want. There we go. Okay, and that's it. So, that's... Wait, hang on. Did I put that on hold square? Was that... I'm trying to remember if that was the way I did it last time. For... It was either hold circle or tap circle I chose. Because, like, for tap circle, would he do anything here? He wouldn't have a quick teleport. He wouldn't have bolt. He wouldn't... No, I don't think we need anything there. I mean, you could have an explosion attack if you wanted to. But the explosion attack is actually going to be on hold circle. So it's probably better to leave circle, tap circle alone. But on hold circle, you're going to go to explosion attack. And then you're going to go to this one right here. You're going to go with that one. Because what you want to do there is you want to kind of make it look like ice breath. Uh, that kind of looked like it. I'm going to go through this a few times, guys. Just so I can get the right color. Try that one more time. That's quite bright, like blue, though, isn't it? It's not really ice like. We'll go with this one. Yeah, we'll go with that one. That, that seems fine to me. Then for ice explosion, obviously, because. When you use that, even though when I've attacked enemies with that, it doesn't seem to freeze them. But, I don't know. At least, at least you've got it checked. Maybe, maybe it does and I just haven't been doing it right. Uh, but yep, that's all sorted. So for hold circle, he's going to use his ice breath. For tap circle, he's not going to do anything. For square, he's going to fight. And for hold square, he's going to use his heat vision. And I can't really think of anything else. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm quite happy with that. I mean, you could put the heat vision on circle and then maybe have tap circle as the heat vision. Uh, sorry, not the heat vision, the uh, ice breath. But I'm quite happy with that. So for X, double tap, obviously, you want flight. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome. And then hold, you know, there's that amazing scene from Man of Steel where he's flying in the snowy mountains. 
we're definitely going to have hyper jump because it'll be cool to be able to kind of recreate that moment in a way. And that's pretty much it, I think. I, I don't think there's anything else we've missed. Uh, we don't, like I said, we don't need any weapons. For, for miscellaneous, we're just going to call him Superman. Or you could call him the Man of Steel, you know. Whatever you prefer. Oh, I need to put it in caps. Superman! Nice! And then for background image, you kind of want something like spacey. You know, because he's from Krypton. So try and find something that looks a bit Kryptonian, I guess. I kind of like the look of uh, that one. I think that looks quite cool. So, yeah, I think we'll settle on that one. And that's it. So that is Superman made in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop him into the Chronopolis Hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, our custom-made Superman, the Man of Steel in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. And look how cool he looks. I mean, come on. Right there, that just looks like Superman. This is Superman. So what can he do? All right, let's have a look. So, he can fly, obviously. And he flies like Superman as well, because he puts his arm out like that. So cool. All right, then of course, for combat, we gave him quite a few abilities, actually. We'll go down here and show them. So, we gave him punching. So he's super strong and he can lift up cars and things, which I will show in a bit. And then, of course, we also gave him targeting with his heat vision. So he can do that. Oh, that looks so cool. Yes. Yes, I love this. This is the first time I'm playing as him. So I'm getting to see all this for the um, first time as well. I make the character and I choose all the abilities, but I don't really test them out until I actually do the videos, you know. So this is the first time I've actually played as a custom-made Superman in this game. And I'm very happy right now. Can I uh, freeze these guys? Or not, because they're pedestrians. Nice! I mean, it was still cool. Do it again. Still cool. Still seems like Superman, in my opinion. Right, now, let's, uh, let's go throw some cars. Because <laughs> why not? Alright. I want to get this one. Da, 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 <laughs> da, 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 Okay, come on, Superman. Fly through the desert like you used to. Whee! Not that I need it, but hey, still cool. And we got Batman with us as well, which I made in a previous video. Look at these two together. Come on, that looks cool. Batman and Superman, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Why not, you know? I know, them. I know this is a DC character and everything, but it's just a bit of fun at the end of the day. Who cares? Whoa! up here when you're flying around you can't even tell this is a custom character it feels like I've modded Superman in which I have not done <laughs> thing is I don't think you can actually mod the uh, the Lego Marvel games anymore or the Lego games in general because uh, I think direct direct X 11 stop text mod from working so you can't actually do that so this is kind of the new way of modding <laughs> it's just by using the in-game customizer and to be honest it's better because you not only get the design you also get the powers because when i did the modding you know the the mod packs for like uh jessica jones and stuff like that they were just the designs they didn't really have any of their powers all they could do is punch now though i can make that exact design again and i can have a you know super jumping around and picking cars up and throwing them and stuff so it's pretty sweet oh sorry my bad uh whoa hey. and i mean i know there are some mods where 
people have made them and they have all their powers and that, but that is just so complicated for me. <laughs> I just do not understand how to do any of that. So, yeah. I only did the texture modding. But this is more fun. I, I'm enjoying the character creator a lot more. Alright. Oh, look, we're in the snow. It's like in Man of Steel. They will stumble, they will fall, and in time, he will join you in the sun cow. Do, do, do. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I saw my friend do the very same thing the other day, and I just had to do it. Because my friend uh, oh, Nolan made a, uh, just... a custom version of Superman. It looked really good. It did. But he was kind of like just starting out, so he didn't have all the pieces and things. But it still looked great. Whoa. You vibranium samples I don't want any vibranium. Right. I can't stop flying around. It's just so much fun to fly around as Superman in a huge open world, you know? Hopefully we can find some more bad guys to fight, though. I think there's some in medieval England. Where are the medieval enemies? Whoa. Oh, what? Is that a skeleton? Hey, it is a skeleton. Huh. Good job. Right. Uh, oh, there's enemies usually here. Strange. Oh, Superman looks really mad. Ah! I'm mad. Good day. I'm super mad. Burn! <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, Superman's gone crazy. I'm not Superman. I'm custom character ten or six or whatever we're on. <laughs> and oh, custom character nine. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for the heads up, game. That was kind of creepy how you just let me know that. Whoa! That was cruel, Superman. You shouldn't have done that. Let's go into water, because why not? Ooh. I've noticed some criminal activity not far from where you Really? Are. In Lu you know what to do. I wish there was criminal activity in Lumiria. I'd like hey to fight there. crime in Lumiria. We're testing out a new game show concept. No. And we're looking no. for bright-eyed, bushy-tailed participants no, I said. to see if the idea is worth pursuing. Interested? No. We're planning to call the game, catch the seashell. Even though focus testing tells us that that <clears> is <throat> excuse me and doesn't work as a real uh, mind you, all this is moot. Shut up! Get inside the big bubble here. Any bright ideas? No, it won't let me. <laughs> oh well. Ooh, an enemy for me to fight. Take that! I am the Man of Steel. Okay, there's not really anything to do down here. I just like coming down to Lumiria because it's just a gorgeous area. I've always wanted to be able to swim underwater in the LEGO games and LEGO Dimensions introduced that and in this game they gave us an amazing looking hub underwater. I mean, look how cool this looks. So I just love coming down here. Go Superman! We may have accepted payment from that so-called television host, but we don't need to trust you. Nearly there. Have we been to Noir yet? I don't think we have. Oh, wait. We might have, like, just flew around it, but we haven't walked around it, I don't think. <laughs> Got a memory like a fish. <laughs> Batman looks especially cool in Noir, I think. Definitely. The way I hear it, the Daily Bugle is one of the more dangerous places in town to work. Reckon it's <laughs> Ah, mummies! Take care of the Superman! I have you now! Oh, wow! <laughs> you just obliterated him. Good job, Batman Superman. We did good, Clark. Don't, t don't say my secret identity, you idiot. Ugh. Sorry, I'm so sorry, Superman. It's okay, Bruce. <laughs> right. 
I'm telling you. Search Heroes Wrestle Scorpions. It's on like three gazillion views already. What can I say? I just like making dudes fight. Oh, this is a quest that this guy. You had to do it for this guy where you had to fight scorpions. And if you go up to him, he gives you money every single time. So it's kind of like. Yeah, look, I'll show you. Watch. Hello. <laughs> Give me my money. Nah, don't hurt me. I I'm sorry. I'll never make heroes fight scorpions again. And I'll give you all the money I made from the fight. Here, <laughs> take it. Seriously, I'm a changed man. From now on, I'm only gonna use my making people fight scorpion powers for good. Making people fight scorpion powers. That's not a power. That's a choice. All right. Whee. All right, I think one last thing. I haven't actually been to nowhere or at line in any of these showcases. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll call it a day. Superman flying really high into the sky. Goons, bad guys, villains, crooks, enemies. Oh, we got some bad guys to fight in Atalan. Let's do it. Haha, <laughs> that was easy. You fools. You cannot stop the Superman. Oh, we got some robots to fight? Alright. Ah, sorry, Bruce. I mean, Batman. <laughs> Hey, get out of here. Get out of Adelan. Is that it? I guess that's it. All right, now to nowhere. Whee! I want to see fly down here just for a second. Oh, Adelan looks so cool. It's really like horrible looking, but I love it at the same time. If you know what I mean. Of my citadel by finding the elusive golden ticket hidden inside the wrapper of a regular delicious Kang bar. I don't want a Kang bar. Where's the. Where's nowhere at? Excuse me, could you tell me directions to nowhere? With his digital eye, something beginning with C. <laughs> it's Chronopolis. Oh! I never would have guessed. Where did he go? Oh, what? No. I can't actually reach him right now. Can I, like, land on top of him? No, you can't. But if I go over here, Kang I beat him to it. <laughs> Always watching. Warning. Yes! Got him! Haha! -ha, five out of ten. See what I mean? There's so many things to, like, do in Chronopolis. It's crazy. I can fly down here now. Well, not down here, up here, I should say. And there we go, we're in nowhere. Ooh. Cool. Superman in space. Very nice. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I've made Superman, and I've done nothing but be a jerk in this video. <laughs> I've, like, thrown people's cars into the sea, into, like, Lumeria. I've burned every civilian I see. I've shouted at everyone. I mean, I have not made a very good Superman. Design-wise and powers-wise, sure, but not personality-wise. Um, definitely not. But there you go. This is Superman. This is my custom-made Superman in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. And I'm quite happy with him. I think he looks pretty cool. I think it's the best you can do, you know. Um... Would I say there's anything wrong with it? It's... Well... Honestly, not really. I mean, I don't really have much to complain about. I know there's the symbol, you know, the Dark Hawk, Dark Hawk symbol, but... Uh, it's... It kind of works, because it's kind of like... That is the replacement for the Superman symbol, uh, the House of L. The arm printing kind of works, because I think he actually has those in the movies lately, so that works. And, you know, the red hips, I just think that looks better. I wasn't trying to make, like, Henry Cavill Superman or anyone like that. I just wanted to try and make a Superman. So, yeah, I'm happy. I think he looks really cool, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it, because I had a lot of fun making Superman in this game. It was pretty cool to be able to make a character that wasn't Marvel using the customizer and i'm really surprised by how good it actually turned out anyway guys i want to thank you very much for watching stay tuned for lots more videos real soon and as always please remember to like comment and subscribe <laughs>